Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and today guys, we have something really fun. So I had a couple of Wonder Cup battles against my girlfriend Naomi, and uh, they were both relatively short battles, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a two-for-one deal. You guys are going to get two battles in one video. Obviously, these are Wonder Cup battles. They're not very serious at all. They're just meant to be fun. <laughs> Um, and so the only rule we were really playing with is the Species Clause, because I actually got really unlucky. Um, I got three Lillipups back to back, like in a row. That was crazy. <laughs> um, I don't even know what the odds of getting three of the same Mon on Wonder Trade are, but um, it happened to me. So we decided mutually that I was able to trade off the other two Lillipups and get something else. So um, in the first battle, I definitely had the advantage here. Uh, because, <laughs> unfortunately, Naomi's team is like, well, four of her mons are weak to electric, and I have an electric on my team. So it was definitely stacked in my favor. Um, but anyway, looking at my opponent's team in this first battle, she has the Cutifly, Ghastly, Eevee, Pikapek, Wingull, and the Ladybug. Well, looking at my team, I've got the Alolan Meowth, we have a Torchic, an Electric, Lillipup, <laughs> And uh, let's see, Snubble and a Wingle of my own. So definitely, definitely stacked in my favor here. I actually have a pretty glaring fighting weakness, but luckily for me, my opponent did not have any fighting mons. So this battle was, uh, or these battles were pretty interesting, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. And obviously, don't take it too seriously. So the first battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Alolan Meowth, as my opponent is going to lead off with her Cutify. So I believe, I'm actually, I didn't watch these videos back, so I think we had these battles like a week or two ago. I can't even remember. But uh, I'm going to go for the Fake Out here. I don't remember every turn, um, but my opponent goes for the Stun Spore there and actually unfortunately misses. So I'm actually going to swap out here into the Electric, which is a good play. Because being an electric type, I'm actually immune to the stun spore, as you cannot paralyze an electric type, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so here, I'm just going to go for the Electro Ball, <laughs> which, when have you ever seen Electro Ball competitively? Probably never. My opponent is going to go for the Fairy Wind. There's a lot of, like, funny moves that you just never see just because of what type of battle this is. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go for another Electro Ball there to take out the Cutifly. My man Stanley unfortunately has to go down here. My opponent is now going to bring out the Eevee, and uh, I totally forgot which of her mons had items, so I was a little bit afraid um, that this Eevee was going to have like the EVMZ or whatever, but then I remembered Z Crystals are actually not tradable. Um, they actually go back to your bag if you try to trade them. But my opponent's going to Tail Whip. I bring in Snubble uh, basically just to get the Intimidate. <laughs> kind of using Snubble here as like a defensive wall. I don't think Snubble had an item, so it's not like I had Eevee Light or anything. Um, I think my only attack is actually Tackle, and it does adorable damage to this Eevee here, which is really unfortunate. Um, so now my opponent's going to go for the Tackle. I go for the Charm here, because two can play at that game. She's trying to drop my stats, I'm trying to drop hers. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I think my opponent yeah, is just going to swap out here and brings out the Wingle now. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more scary because, well, A, I don't know what type of moves this thing's rocking, and B, it's a special attacker usually, and uh, Snubble's special defense is not the greatest in the world. I'm actually going to swap out here. I'm going to bring out the uh, Alolan Meowth once again. Um, I was really, really afraid <laughs> of this Wingle because I knew what mine had, so I kind of figured hers would be about the same. Um, so I'm just going to go for the fake out. Actually does a decent amount of damage, not going to lie. And uh, here I'm just going to go for the bite, praying for the flinch or whatever. And I actually do get the flinch, so I got really lucky in this battle. <laughs> I think she missed a stun spore earlier, and then she got flinched right there. So this, this battle, unfortunately, was not in Naomi's favor at all. Um, so here she's going to bring out the Pika Peck. I'm going to swap out now. And uh, bring back out the Snowball, or Snubble, rather, not Snowball, what the fuck. Um, and get the Intimidate. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm like losing my voice here. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. My opponent's going to go for a Peck. Uh, I got to water down the pipes. And uh, <clears throat> she's actually going to swap back out into the Eevee. As I believe I just go for the... Okay, I thought I, I, thought I went for Tackle, but I'm going to go for the uh, Tail Whip here. Competitive Tail Whip, fuck yeah. <laughs> 
So that's going to drop her defense. She's actually going to go for the tail whip as well. So we're basically just doing the same shit here. Um, and I think I just... Oh, okay, never mind. I go for another tail whip. So we're just like twerking away on the battlefield here, apparently. <laughs> I love how Snubble doesn't even have a tail, yet it can tail whip. Unless it's like a really small tail tucked up under that dress or something. But anyway, my opponent's going to go for... Actually, I don't even know what she went for. I think she, yeah, she just went for tackle, and I go for tackle, but hers does a dick load of damage. Holy shit. It's because of all those tail whips, man. <laughs> Mine is not doing as much. I actually I think I got a high roll there, um, and it's actually going to put her in the red, but she's going to be able to unfortunately kill off my snubble, which is bad because I no longer have an Intimidate Mon. So here, I'm going to bring out my Torchic, and unfortunately, I don't think this Torchic really had much in the way of attacks. Um, so she's going to go for the tackle here. I go for the low kick. Um, I think low kick and I think I had scratch and growl. I actually don't think I had a fire attack. Maybe maybe I'm forgetting something. Um, so now my opponent's going to bring out the ghastly. I actually got luck. I got pretty lucky there. Uh, I had the speed boost ability, which is really cool because with wonder trade, you never know what you're going to get. I actually baton pass out into the meow so that's gonna give my meow the uh the uh speed boost there my opponent misses freaking um uh, my opponent got so unlucky she misses the uh the hypnosis there which would have put me to sleep i'm just gonna go for the bite here as she brings in the ladybug it actually does a decent amount of damage not gonna lie um meow doesn't have like the greatest attack stat in the world and i think ladybug is Oh, wait, no, Ladybug's more bulky on the special side, so yeah, never mind. Okay, I see why that did so much. Um, so I'm actually going to bring back out Electrike here. And honestly, <laughs> Electrike can practically clean up her team. I'm just going to go for the Electro Ball there. That's going to kill off the Ladybug. My opponent is now going to bring out the Ghastly, whose only attack, I think, is Lick, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she goes for another Hypnosis and misses. Oh, that sucks. And so here, I went for the Eerie Impulse just because I had no idea what that did, but it actually dropped her special attack. Um, I just wanted to see like what it looked like, honestly, because you never, like I said, you never see some of these moves. So um, she actually is going to land the Hypnosis. I think I was feeling bad there a little bit um, that she missed. So she finally lands it. And this is kind of bad for me because, like I said, Electric definitely digs down her entire team <laughs> so she goes for the lick there i actually wake up like on the first turn i think which is unheard of for me and i go for an electro ball she's actually going to put me back to sleep so electrics out on the battlefield catching some damn z's here <laughs> i think i wake up on like the second or third turn I'm not miss I'm, i can't remember i cannot remember holy shit <laughs> so she's gonna go for a lick once again Unfortunately, it's not going to kill me because Ghastly has, like, negative 5 attack. Um, so she's going to keep going for Lick, and thankfully for me, because I'm an electric type, and, well, obviously, because I'm asleep, uh, she's unable to paralyze me with the Lick, which is awesome. So I think, I think, yeah, here I wake up, finally. So it was actually three turns. And I go for the Electro Ball, and uh, unfortunately that is not going to kill the Ghastly. She's going to go for another lick, and <laughs> I think that actually finally... No, I live on two, um, and I go for an Electro Ball that is going to definitely kill the Ghastly, and her last Mon... What is it? Is it Wingle? I can't remember. No, it's Pika Peck, but I outspeed this thing, and I can just go for an Electro Ball, and that is going to be game, so I guess onward to game number two. <laughs> Alright, so game number two was actually quite different this time. My opponent had some really scary shit on her team. So she actually got a Pika Peck and Eevee again. Uh, she also got the Beldum, a Scyther, which is insane. Um, when I saw that, I was like, holy shit, dude. She's got, a, she's definitely got it in the bag. She also has the, is it Cro Crocodile or something like that? And then a Chimchar. Well, looking at my team, we've got the Crab Brawler, which is pretty damn cool. I have a Pika Peck of my own, we have the Alolan Vulpix, which is cool. Um, and then finally we have like the only good mon on my team, which is my, uh, uh, fuck, what is this thing called? Ariados? Yeah, that's right. And then I actually got lucky, I got a shiny Rowlet <laughs> off Wonder Trade, which is pretty neat. 
And then finally, we have the magnet, not magneton, magnemite. Um, so game two was definitely different. It was definitely more in my opponent's favor. I hope you guys will enjoy this one as well. All right, so battle number two <laughs> begins, and I'm going to bring out I Suck 2. I don't know. I, I did not nickname these mons. I don't know what that nickname is about. My opponent's going to lead off with a picky pack. So this is obviously pretty damn bad for me. So I'm going to have to swap out here. I'm going to bring out Magneti, <laughs> which is the Magnemite. Again, no, no idea what these nicknames are about. So my opponent's going to go for the Growl there. Obviously, Magnemite is more of a special attacker, so that Growl literally doesn't matter. Um, I think I just go for the Thundershock here, as my opponent is going to bring out the Crocodile, if I'm not mistaken. Or, not Crocodile, that's the final. I don't remember what the hell this thing's called. Um, no, I actually go for Supersonic, rather, and uh, give her a taste of her own medicine from last game. I think she went for Supersonic or something last game. Um, but anyway, that thing's going to be confused. Now I'm going to swap out. I'm going to bring out the clean, shiny Rowlet here. <laughs> looks so cool it's definitely one of the best shinies from 7th gen not gonna lie um shiny decidueye is fucking badass so here i'm just gonna go for the brave bird uh i think i was expecting her to swap actually um but brave bird holy shit like i'm not even choice banded or anything that just fucking annihilates this thing <laughs> i was not expecting it to die but now my opponent's gonna bring out the beldum and uh, I wasn't sure if Beldum got, like, egg moves or something, or if its only attack was takedown. I think its only attack is takedown. Um, so that's what she's going to go for as I bring out the Crab Brawler. And uh, unfortunately for me, my Crab Brawler <laughs> is a little limited on attacks here. <laughs> I don't actually have... Actually, is Beldum Steel Psychic or is it just Steel? I can't remember. I, it, I think it's Steel Psychic. So yeah, fighting attack actually wouldn't have even done anything, but I do have payback there. But unfortunately for me, I fucking outspeed this thing somehow. <laughs> so that's really unfortunate. I should have just gone for payback there. I just went for Dizzy Punch to try to confuse this thing, honestly. But unfortunately, I Suck 2 is uh, going to go down here. But uh, that's okay, because this Beldum is definitely hurting. Uh, it's taken a dick load of recoil. Now I'm going to bring out Ariados, which is pretty much the best thing I have on my team. My opponent is going to miss takedown, which I actually, I had no idea you could actually miss takedown. Hmm. <laughs> so there I go for the Fury Swipes. I don't know why the hell I did that. <laughs> but um, I, I guess maybe I was trying to make her think that I didn't have the Sucker Punch. But on the next play, I just go for a Sucker Punch. And uh, it is going to kill off the Beldum there. So my opponent's going to bring out the Eevee now. And, uh, let's see, okay, I swap out here. I really probably should have watched these battles back, but I think it's more fun just watching the shenanigans unfold once again. <laughs> um, so my opponent's gonna go for the, uh, yawn there, and, uh, the tail whip. I'm guessing she was expecting me to swap there, but I actually stay in. I just go for the magnet bomb, honestly trying to get some damage off on this Eevee. I think it, I think Eevee had an item. If I'm not mistaken, and I was maybe wondering it if it was maybe Eevee Light or something. Because she goes for a curse here, and uh, I was thinking that this was like an Eevee Light cursing Eevee or whatever. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be catching some Zs once again. There's a lot of sleeping Mons in these, uh, in these battles here, but I'm basically just standing here trying to wake up Magnemite. As my opponent is going to start spamming tackle, and that tackle does a fuck ton of damage. Holy shit. That's supposed to be resisted, right? <laughs> but uh, I think she went for like one or two uh, tail whips or something. So my defense is like non-existent, plus I don't have the Eevee light or whatever. So I finally do wake up, and I go for a Thundershock here. It does okay damage, but my opponent kind of messed up there going for Curse. She probably would have been better off just killing me off there but um that's fine i'll take some <laughs> i'll take some extra damage here so obviously i'm gonna outspeed i go for this i'm an idiot <laughs> i just like criticized her for not going for an attack i should have gone for the t-bolt or not t-bolt uh the thundershock there but i went for supersonic i actually miss it which sucks i should have just gotten damage off <laughs> but whatever here, I'm going to bring out the Alolan Vulpix, which I thought was going to have 
the uh, snow warning ability. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I go for Blizzard. I fucking miss, and she just fucking annihilates me with a tackle. Next, I go out into Pikipek, and honestly, you guys pretty much know the, the deal here. This EV is going to fucking rip me a new asshole here. So she's going to go for another tackle. And of course, Pikipek is going to go down. So this EV is just ripping me a new asshole right now. Holy shit. I'm going to bring out the shiny Rallet here. I think I actually am able to kill off the Eevee here with a Brave Bird, but I'm starting to take some massive amounts of recoil, which <laughs> kind of sucks. Rallet and uh, Ariados are like two MVPs of this team. So <clears throat> even with a curse, that Brave Bird actually killed, which is pretty rad. Um, I don't think I had Choice Band or anything on this Rallet. So now my opponent is going to bring out the damn Scyther. This thing is a massive problem for my team. But her only attack is Quick Attack. <laughs> so that actually works out in my favor. I actually tried to go for the Sucker Punch there, um, thinking it would work with Quick Attack, but I guess not. So I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird here. That is going to, I believe, kill off the Scyther. Yeah, I don't see this thing living. Yeah, I was going to say, holy shit, if it lived that, that would be fucking nuts. <laughs> Scyther is actually pretty damn frail. So unfortunately, I'm going to kill myself to my own recoil there. And my last mon, I believe, is Ariados, and my opponent brings out the Peaky Peck. And basically, I think I just go for the, uh, I think I go for the Fury Swipes as my opponent goes for Peck. I think it's going to take a couple Pecks to kill me. Honestly, I am not sure why I went for Fury Swipes. Um, I definitely should have just gone for the Sucker Punch, but I didn't want her to predict the Sucker Punch and like go for Growl or whatever, but I actually get 5 hits on the Fury attack, um, which is pretty damn cool, and I go for the Sucker Punch, that is going to kill off her Peaky Peck, and I think she's down to her last Mon now, which is the Chimchar if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think that's her last, yeah, so it's one on one, already dose versus Chimchar. <laughs> So she actually predicts the Sucker Punch, she goes for Leer, that's going to obviously lower my defense, and with that guys, the battle is over. <laughs> She's going to go for the Thunder Punch. Um, actually, I take that back, it didn't even kill me. I go for the Fury Swipes, which is not going to do a hell of a lot to this Chimchar, and then on the following turn, she'll be able to kill me off with another Thunder Punch, and that is basically game. So I hope you guys enjoyed these, I know they weren't like serious battle. Wow, I actually got 5 hits again. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so I go for Shadow Sneak there, just to get a little extra chip damage, but uh, yeah, the battle, the battle's over. Maybe I should have gone for Sucker Punch, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these, even though they're not serious whatsoever. <laughs> but um, yeah, we both made some interesting plays, probably not the best plays, but it's whatever. It was all in good fun and uh, using some silly mons, but if you guys would like these more often, let me know, and uh, I'll try to get some some uh, Wonder Cup battles with other people as well. Maybe even do like dual commentary or something like that. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you. Peace out.